What's up guys, my name is Mojo Cakes and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave a like if you do enjoy this video. But today, we'll be talking about the new Yeezy restock season that will be happening throughout this year. Let's get right into it. Starting off in May, here at the end of May on May 29th, we will be getting a restock of the Sand Foam Runner and a new colorway, the Mineral Blue Foam Runner. The Sand Foam Runner was initially released back in March and is constructed out of EVA foam. It will be returning obviously on May 29th for a retail price of 80 US dollars. So moving on to June, we will be seeing a restock of the Yeezy Slide Pure and the Yeezy Slide Core. And we will also be seeing the new colorway in flame, which is the orange kind of flame orange colorway. Both these slides will be releasing on June 21st for a retail price of 60 US dollars. Now moving on to August, we do have quite a bit of releases in August, but the first release of August will be the Yeezy 700 MNVN in the triple black and orange colorway. We are finally seeing a restock of the MNVN. Now the orange pair was an LA exclusive, so that makes that one a little bit more exclusive. And I believe it has the most resale value out of all the MNVNs and the black one was more of a general release and uh, I'm pretty sure it was worldwide. So the Yeezy 700 MMVN differs from the normal Yeezy 700. The materials on the upper used on the Yeezy 700 MMVN is a nylon and 3M 700 lettering while retaining the boost the model is accustomed to. Both MNVN colorways will be restocking in August with no confirmed official release date in August, set at a retail price of 220 US dollars each. Now also in August, we have another big release. We have four Yeezy 350 V2s restocking. All four of these were originally a regional exclusive. The first Yeezy 350 V2 restocking will be the Yeezy 350 V2 tail light. We will also be seeing the reflective variant of the black static Yeezy 350 V2 and the reflective variant of the cloud white and synth Yeezy 350 V2. These Yeezy 350 V2s will be restocking this August, retailing at 220 US dollars for the tail light colorway and 250 US dollars for all three of the reflective variants. Now the last release of August is a pretty big release, probably one of the most sought after colorways and most sought after Yeezy 700. We'll be seeing a restock of the Yeezy 700 V1 Wave Runner. So this Yeezy 700 Wave Runner will retain all of the same materials and details as its original release. The Wave Runner is expected to release this August with no confirmed release date in August, this time for a retail price of 240 US dollars, which is the decreased retail price of the 300 dollars, which Yeezy and Adidas decided to drop. Now moving on to the month of September, we do have a few releases in there. The first restock we will be seeing will be the restock of the Yeezy Desert Boot in the oil and rock colorways. Both will be returning in September with no confirmed release date in September for a retail price of 200 US dollars each. Now, like I said, we do have a few releases in September and all three of these releases seem to be really good, especially this one that I'm about to share with you guys. The second release of September, we will be seeing the restock of the Yeezy 450 in the OG colorway, which is the cloud white. So this shoe originally released back in March, 2021. So for those who did miss out or didn't manage to get a W in March, you will have a second chance of getting this cloud white colorway. The Yeezy 450 cloud white will be retailing at 200 US dollars and there is no confirmed confirmed release date in September for the shoe to be dropping. We just know that it will be sometime in September. So the last release of September, we will be seeing the restock of the Yeezy Slide Soot and Pure. Once again, the Pure is restocking. So I believe they made quite a bit of stock of the shoe as they are restocking it in June and as well here in September. So this will be the first time we are seeing the Soot colorway restock. And obviously, like I just mentioned, the Pure colorway has restocked quite a few times here in 2021. Both are releasing at a great time, perfect for fall at a retail price of 60 US dollars each. Now moving on to November, we do have two restocks releasing in November and they're pretty good restocks. So starting off for the first release of November, we will be seeing the restock of the Yeezy 500 Low Blush. So if you did miss out on the 2018 release when the shoe did originally drop, you will have a second chance here in 2021. This will mark the first time seeing these OGs restock. Now this Yeezy 500 Low does feature Adiprene, which is an older Adidas and Yeezy technology. It also does feature suede and mesh and I believe that it will be exactly the same details and materials as the 2018 model. This Yeezy 500 Low Blush will be restocking in November with no confirmed release date in November for a retail price of 200 US dollars. So the last release of November, we'll be seeing a Yeezy that hasn't restocked 
since 2017, we will be seeing the return of the Yeezy 350 V2 blue tint. The icy colorway contains the same materials as the 2017 pair, and obviously the beloved Boost as all other Yeezy 350 V2 models contain. The Yeezy 350 V2 blue tint will be restocking for a retail price of 220 US dollars. I do actually own the 2017 pair, and obviously you can see I've worn it a lot. It's held up pretty good, a beautiful, great sneaker. It does feature the zebra kind of design as we saw with those three Yeezys that dropped back in 2017. The zebra, semi-frozen yellow, and obviously the blue tint that did release with this zebra design. A full prominent upper, so you could expect it to be exactly like this with the same materials and everything. So I'm glad to see this Yeezy restocking so people who didn't manage to cop could finally get a second chance of it. But make sure to let me know down in the comments which restock you guys are looking forward to the most. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel. But as always, guys, stay safe and I'll catch you in the next video.